Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Can They Destroy Online Mode? I know, it's been a while, but hey, here we are. Um, I have a story to tell about Black Knight Flash. I'm going to tell that as we're fighting. So here we have um, Black Knight Batman, Lex Corp. And Blackest Night Flash making his debut after I just finished, and everybody just finished, his um, online thing. And uh, he is going to have the Necron Scythe. I've, like, never tried using him before, so this is the first time I've ever, you know, really tried using him competitively. The Necron Scythe, so he's going to resurrect, but I have to KO an opponent. Gave him the Quake Engine, Tantu Totem, so if I knock out a guy, he's going to get a specials back. And I gave you League of Assassins because Hawkgirl, unfortunately, you're really only there because you are you have a good passive. But you aren't actually that good. But with Blackest Knight's, um, with Blackest Knight Batman's uh, unblockable uh, chance, it makes everybody a little better. So, anyway, let's get started. And here is my story about... Ooh... About uh, Blackest Night Flash. It's not a crazy story or anything, but this whole week I was grinding um, to get into the one percentile. And, you know, I was going at it this whole week, making sure every day I played, making sure that I put in my, you know, my sets every day. But,. On Wednesday at 6 o'clock, so that's when it expires. We're going to get hit by Enchantress right here. Um, Wednesday at 6 Eastern is when it expires. So what happened was that I had uh, an appointment to go to. So I had like... I had like two and a half hours, like three hours of open space in which I could not... Um, play any of the online which of course caused me a lot of anxiety because like I wanted to you know I needed to make sure that I was going to get in the one percentile there's our first fight I need to make sure I got into the one percentile but in that three hour span I didn't have any time to play so of course that was a problem right so you know it's about 5 30 uh, near six and in that time I still needed like I still needed like 50,000 points in order to rank in the one percentile so oh okay so let me let me get this a little more precisely it was somewhere around 548 so and I needed to do how many fights five Five fights. Five fights, it usually takes, in my experience, it usually takes anywhere from, like, 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, shoot. Never never any quicker than that, though. You know, as you can see right now. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did I get that twice? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay, get out of here. Oh my god, I screwed up. I messed up big time. Anyway. Um, so I was running out of time. And, you know, I'm on the last fight. Now here's the thing about these fights. If it's Injustice 2 Superman, you know... If it's, if it's none of the crazy guys who take a long time to beat, like, it, it's usually fine, you know? But in the last fight, here comes Reverse Flash. And Reverse Flash is problematic. Because I, don't ha I didn't have anybody on my team. My team was, you know, uh, Dawn of Justice Batman, um... Donna Justice Batman and Justice 2 Superman and Killer Frost. I didn't have anybody on my team that does major basic damage. So I was in a big problem. I couldn't just, you know, I couldn't just spam special moves and, you know, be done with it like I usually do. I 
you know, I had to, like, be... I had to somehow, like, get around Reverse Flash. And to break it down, like, I had one minute left when the fight start. I was at... It was, like, four... It was, like, 550... It was 558. So, I had to do this fight. Okay, so I knocked out somebody, so... Uh... I'm not gonna need to, this is gonna take you out. So I needed to take down this reverse flash fight in like two minutes, and he caused a major problem. And, uh... The, the ending to this story is this. It was the fifth fight, which means I would've got my bonus 15,000 which would have bumped me up into the one percentile at the exact moment it would have ended. But, I kid you not, l quite literally, I missed, I missed it by anywhere from five to ten seconds. Clock struck six, I was still fighting, the, the fight ended maybe a couple seconds later, I got my bonus, I go back to the screen, and then it was over, and I ranked in the top 2%. And now, if you're saying what's bad about that, um, it's because 4% only gives you two uh, Black Knight Flashes, whereas the top 1 percentile gets you three. So all of that work I did the whole week just to miss my shot uh, by, like, ten, by like 10 seconds. And that's not an exaggeration. I, I like I quite literally, I quite literally mean like ten seconds. Like I had my eye on the clock. I had, I had a digital clock right in front of me. Like I was about to deliver the final blow to one of the characters, and it struck six, just just like five seconds before the fight would have been over. It was just, it was just a complete travesty. And stuff like that makes me mad because it's like. It's like, he is probably the hardest online season currently, just because he's the newest um, online character, and whenever he's, he's only been on here three times, so you know, whenever he's the character, um, he's a big deal, and you know, for me to put in, obviously it's my fault, it's nobody's fault but mine, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. The moral of the story is that I screwed up in just the dumbest way ever. Um, I don't know what I could have done differently, though. I, I feel like, I feel like I tried my best, you know, but, oh, well, it's not a big deal. And, you know, of course, it's just a video game. I was, I was actually pretty mad about it, though. I'm not going to lie. When it happened. Um, what should I do here? Who should take this hit? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Alright, if we take you out... If we take him out, then we get to revive... Alright. And the unblockable, man. It's awesome. Look at this dude. Well, truly the Tantu Totem. If you have the Tantu Totem, you can pretty much make any character on your team good. Oh! Look at that. Oh, and the Black Flash passive saving us. Boom! Oh my god. Damn, he's a good character. So yeah, that's that's all you gotta do. You, you gotta make sure you knock out somebody with Flash. Because then later on near the end of the fight, if you're running into trouble... You can get a knockout and come back with full health. Man, it's insane. I love that. 
All right, we're going to knock you the F out. Jesus. I will I will give the Tantu Totem some credit. He's the Tantu Totem is what's helping us dominate like this, but but Blackest Night Flash really is a good character. Wow. Oops. I did not mean to do that. But we knocked out we knocked out two guys with Flash, so even if we get knocked out by him for some reason. By this dog. Wow. I could just stand there and wait until, you know, I get my unblock my uh my like counter hit. Holy shit. I've never seen anything like this. Now it's possible that I got some easier fights because he is only Elite Four. Um, holy shit, what an absolute animal. Wow. Is this really over already? Has it really been like 13 minutes? Wow. This literally, this literally, this whole recording session felt like three minutes, felt like three minutes or less of actual time. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this Blackest Night Flash, um, like, showcase. Um, I'll probably do another episode with him, maybe with lesser, lesser, you know, uh, gears. Because he's already, I, I think he's probably the best gold character in the game now. I don't know that for sure. But I, <laughs> I just remember I saw something on Reddit where a guy was talking about... He was totally, like, he was totally being sarcastic, where he was saying, you know, they totally make fantastic passives that are, that are totally all good with the ones in the game. And they proceeds to talk about how Blackest Night Flash can almost counter every single thing that's, like, currently available in the game. And I'm just like, he gains health from DOT, by the way. I don't know if that was shown off in this video. Because, because frankly, I feel like we were just dominating our enemies before they even had a shot to do anything like that. But um, except for the one of the fights, but still. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, more videos are coming. Um, give me a couple days to get uh, like a hundred, like a hundred and fifty more nth metal, and then we're gonna do another nth metal opening. So that's going to be in a couple days when I have 1,200. I'm going to have to play survivor mode. Um, and I might record one or two of those survivor modes. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Keep on fighting. Um, also leave your suggestions for online mode requests. Um, and I will see you next time. Keep on fighting.